Hi everyone, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at a, support, a security gateway here and configuring it for use with a VoIP phone system. In this case, it's a Yaystar uh, phone system, uh, but really it's the same process for most other phone systems. Uh, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada, and please subscribe that way as we have more videos for the unified gateways and phone systems and, and other things, you'll get a notification. Also, click please check out this device on our web store, buyphonesonline.ca, and create an account because uh, the public uh, anonymous account, we have MSRP pricing, but when you do sign in, uh, you'll see some uh, great and reduced pricing for uh, everyone that has an account. So without further ado, let's jump in and see how this is configured. Okay, so we've got this Unify Security Device Pro, and uh, we're going to configure it for a phone system. Now, this is a Yaystar phone system, but uh, by and large, most phone systems, it's going to be the same thing. So, so uh, what I have done, uh, we're going to want to first bring up a command uh, prompt. So I did Windows R. Windows R brings up this window. CMD is for command prompt, and I'm going to type IP config. IP config. Now this is this device by default comes up with an IP address of 192.168.1.1, but this is a good way to confirm for any new uh, router that you put in. So the default gateway is going to be the router IP address 192.168.1.1, and then the address that I got from the DHCP server that's on this device is. 192.168.1.6. That's how we know that this is the device of the router because that's where the DHCP server is. So I'm going to take that address. I'm going to put it in here. Now I factory reset this, uh, but I have not adopted it yet. So what you see is it says Unify Controller. So by and large, most of the configuration here is done within the Unify Controller software. So if you already have that somewhere and it's installed, uh, then you would go to your Unify Controller for the site, and that's for Unify access points and other things. If you don't, you can click on here and you can download the software. So on the Ubiquiti site, um, right now it's Unify Network Controller 5.10. 19. Now, obviously, this is current version. By the time you watch this, it might be a newer version. So you download and install it. And now once it's downloaded and installed, um, then we have the Unify controller. So Unify controller. And I do have that installed on my computer. It's an app uh, that it basically is a, a, a web um, server and other stuff. So I'm going to launch a web browser. And in this case, you can see it's on the local host of uh, my local computer here. And it looks like I'm already uh, logged in by default. Now, what I can do is I click on this uh, picture of an access point, which is devices. And I'm going to click there. And you can see the devices here. And it's pending adoption. So I'm going to click on it to bring it up. And then I can simply click Adopt. So now it's adopting the device. Very simple, just like most of this, uh, the Unify equipment. Really, really easy to, uh, to use. Okay, so it looks like we are... Okay, it's provisioning. And once it's provisioned, uh, we're going to go down to the gear here in settings. And firewall, routing and firewall. Okay, so it still is not, it's still provisioning. Uh, we're going to have to wait here for a moment. For the sake of the video, I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, it just connected. That uh, took under 30 seconds. Uh, and so here we've got uh, routing and firewall. Uh, we can see that the device is now connected, so I'm going to close that. And then we've got our different firewall uh, settings here. Now, what we need to set up is the port forwarding for a VoIP phone system. So, what we're going to do is put in some rules, and this is for a Yaystar uh, phone system. In Canada, you can find out more about the Yaystar phone system, which we think is just got awesome value at www.yaystar.ca. 
uh, and let's see click on a new port so there's a number of rules that need to be uh, put in here um, this is going to be for PBX um, SIP uh, TCP uh, the default is going to be UDP. You definitely want a UDP rule, and this is going to be port 5060. Now, you need to know where your phone system is on the internal network. Generally, I like to put phone systems on dot .10, so because the network address is 192.168.1.1 uh, uh, for the default gateway, this one is, uh, of course, 1.10, but it needs to be your IP address of your PBX and that should be a static IP address and then we're going to port, port forward it to 5060 now this does give you an option to do TCP or UDP and for SIP port we generally need both if you do have secure uh, using TCP for uh, for your SIP traffic then um, yeah you want both so we're going to add that one now the uh, yay star uh, web interface is is on uh, port 8080. So and it's actually HTTPS. So port 8080 or sorry 8088 again to the phone system IP and 10 and 8088 and that would be TCP traffic. Now the real time media or the audio. This is PBX RTM or RTP, and this is port 10,000 to 12,000. Let's see. Okay, so that's just going to move it over, which is nice. 192.168.1.10, and this is strictly UDP on the Yaster phone system. Uh, now, if you're using a Linkus uh, soft phone, which would be for your cell phone or a laptop and you're away from the office, then uh, the Linkus soft phone also needs to um, connect through the gateway. So we're going to go in here and PBX uh, Linkus soft phone. And so this is TCP and UDP port number 8111. Again, IP address of the phone system uh, and 8111 and save. And uh, let me double check that we have everything. Yeah, that is all the ports that we're going to need for the Yaystar phone system. So again, uh, find out more about the Yaystar phone system in Canada. That's www.yaystar.ca. So that was the uh, Unify uh, Access uh, Security Gateway Pro. Uh, you'll find this and more products on our online store at buyphonesonline.ca. Uh, please create an account because that's where you see the great pricing that shows up. And this is a terrific price point for any uh, small to medium sized organization. I'm Dara Zook with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.